what is going on here as we rearrange these four different pieces? It seems like we are magically conjuring up a missing block out of nowhere. Whenever you're dealing with a puzzle like this, you wanna ask yourself, what are my assumptions and how might those assumptions be failing? In this particular case, I'm assuming that this is a five by 13 triangle, that it is genuinely a triangle. And if I wanted to, I could even figure out the area of that triangle, base, times height divided by two gives us an area of 32.5. When I rearrange the pieces, however, I'm looking at what appears to be that same five by 13 right triangle, which should have the same area, but is rather obviously missing a block. And so we would assume now, wait, is the area 31.5? We can't have a figure that has an area of both 32.5 square units and 31.5 square units. This missing block has to be be coming from somewhere. So let's go back to our assumptions and see where maybe we're going wrong. We thought this was one single triangle, but let's take a look at each of the individual pieces and see if they reveal something else. The Tetris-like pieces are probably the easiest ones to figure out because they're literally just made up of some number of blocks. Looks like seven blocks for this orangish kind of shape, and then another eight blocks for this greenish kind of shape. And so that's a total of 15 blocks from the Tetris-like pieces. This red triangle has a height of of three and a base of eight, and so its area would be eight times three divided by two, that makes 12. And then the blue triangle, two units tall by five units long, that would be an area of five times two divided by two makes five. And you'll notice something a little weird at this point. If we add up all of these areas, we don't get 32.5, we also don't get 31.5, instead we get a number right in between those two. So it's not actually that we're missing a whole block, it's that initially we were overestimating our area by half a block, and then when we rearrange the shapes, we underestimate the area by another half block. Looking at the bases and heights that we've come up with now, we can tell that can't possibly be a single triangle. The red triangle has a hypotenuse with a slope that is a rise over run of up three over eight. Whereas the smaller blue triangle has a hypotenuse with a slope of up two over five, that is two fifths. Three eighths and two fifths, though they are very close together, are not actually the same ratio. And so you can see why the looks are deceiving here, why it appeared like this was a single line, but actually isn't. They have slightly different slopes. Again, this is one of my favorite math puzzles. It helps us examine our assumptions, things that we are assuming to be true, but that might not actually be true. And it also helps us illustrate the connection between things like slope and area, particularly for right triangles.